Due to the posting limitations of YouTube, this is an abbreviated project profile. Please visit us at roofingchannel.com to see this video in its entirety. This time on roofingchannel.com's project profiles, we find ourselves in the middle of downtown Salt Lake City, Utah. These days, the city's a bustling town with buildings and high rises on every corner. But in 1901, it didn't quite look that way. That's when J.G. McDonald built his chocolate factory here on Broadway Street and made the sweets that Utahns came to love. But, as with most good things, there comes an end. So by 1978, the factory was closed and the building was converted into warehouse space. In 1997, a local developer learned that the old factory was for sale and he knew the 117,000 square feet of floor space would work very well as an apartment building. He transformed it into a 58-unit loft-style apartment, retaining the genuine feel of an industrial setting. The name was then changed to Broadway Lofts, and this old building got a new lease on life. During the renovation, the existing roof was completely removed, and an EPDM roof system was installed. But after about 10 years worth of faithful service, the EPDM roof system began to leak. And since the owners didn't want a recurring problem, they decided to replace the roof instead of continuing to patch it. The replacement system is going to be an 80 mil IB Roof Systems PVC membrane installed by Schindler Roofing of Clearfield, Utah. You may remember that we did a contractor profile on Andy Schindler of Schindler Roofing. If you haven't seen it, go back and check it out. The new system will be installed directly over the existing EPDM, which means using a slip sheet or polypropylene mat to separate the two systems. And this roof took a ton of planning. I mentioned earlier that this building has 58 units, not to mention all the common areas. And with temperatures that reach well over 100 degrees in the summer, that means a lot of air conditioners, and all of them are on the roof. Andy was able to get the owners to have an HVAC company come out and disconnect all of the ACs and move them to one third of the roof which wasn't being worked on. Once they were finished with the section, all of the AC units were moved back into place and reattached. This made it easier since most of the ACs are on concrete curbs, but not attached to the roof. Another logistical nightmare is that this roof is 90 feet off the ground, and with no freight elevator, it means it's time to break out the crane. All of the material and equipment was loaded onto the roof by crane, but to get yourself onto the roof, it was up the fire escape each and every time. Now let's take a look at the installation process. The ivy roof system being installed requires anchor fasteners on one side to hold it in place. Due to the age of this building, anchors ranged in length from 9 inches to 12 inches long. Once the anchors are in place, the next sheet is laid over, then the individual sheets are heat welded together. The bond at the seams is actually stronger than the material itself. These hot air welders come in the form of hand welders for details and a robotic welder to complete the longer runs. For penetration such as these vents, IB supplies these ready-made boots. After you trim the boot to fit the pipe, you simply slide it into place and weld it to the membrane below. A collar is added to the top as well as a bead of caulk for added protection. Adding to the complexity of this project, this roof has 22 of these 3 inch drain and overflow combinations. The depth of the recession makes it difficult to work with and they weren't always in an area that was easily accessible. New drain inserts and overflows were added and the membrane welded securely around them.
At each junction and corner, a round patch is welded in to give an added layer of protection. As you can see, we've sped this process up quite a bit, and we're going to do that a little bit here in the future in this video as well. For now, I'm going to be quiet, and let's watch these guys work. From start to finish, this 15,000 square foot roof took Schindler Roofing about 10 days to complete. We weren't able to stick around the entire time, but we do have some before and after pictures, so have a look. And this is the before and after picture that says it all. All right, we got to see that again. So what's the warranty on this roof? This customer is now enjoying a 25-year labor and materials warranty from IB Roof Systems. They also elected to have a set of 80 mil textured walk pads installed. And you can see those here. You'll see in these photos that there's still some dust on this roof from the installation. One good rain will wash it off and it will be an extremely reflective roof. In fact, if you ever decide to install IB, get yourself a good pair of sunglasses and some sunblock. It reflects so much light back away from the roof that it wreaked havoc on our cameras. But you know what? No matter how long it sat in the sun, it was still cool to the touch. Try that with a black membrane. And when you go to work clean with this system, you go home clean too. Andy Schindler refers to this as white collar roofing and having seen many other roofing systems out there I have to agree with them. Well guys that's going to do it for this project profile. I want to thank Schindler Roofing for allowing us to visit their job site. We hope to do it again soon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.